all right? We have a whole warehouse full of it. These are molds here, we picked them out. Right now, you say, well, what do you do with these things? Let me show you. If you look closely, that is an engine. That is two pieces. That's the bottom and the top. Right, this will go into the cheese department and we'll put cheese. I mean, that's fantastic. This is a mold, and that's a mold. What it is, I don't have a clue. But we start messing with that stuff. We take that and we turn it into that. This has been put together as best we could without getting crazy. This has been put together. This right here will go on top of here. Then we'll have a TV screen here talking about how they messed it up for me. And this is all Caribbean food. This is gonna be an end cap in a new place. These all come out of your department stores when, 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 they, uh, when, they call, when they have auctions and when they're ready to go to the dump with all the fixtures nobody wants. They call me up and I go pick them up for almost five bucks a piece. You see here, end cap, 50 bucks. Really, I paid nothing for it. They're ready to throw it away. Now these were, these were, what were these, cockadoos? These were cockadoos. We have to turn them into pigeons because we're making a um, pigeon coop. So we don't have pigeons, so we're turning them into, from cockadoos into pigeons. These were an old CSX bridge, railroad bridge. Uh, he bought it. You know, they were going to scrap it, and he bought it. And uh, the, our tram is going to be on top of this, which is leading right into our main sign going into the building. This is one of the, uh, one of the things that Jungle uh, came across, and we've put it in use in the store. Uh, this is a 3,500-pound bolt door that we're using as an entrance into the uh, cutlery corner, or I should say where they're gonna keep the higher end uh, cutlery. Just like these doors, I mean, somebody threw, was, you know, they thought this was junk at one time. These are beautiful. For the beer cave, they decided they wanted to incorporate NASCAR. So we made the top of the beer cave look like a racetrack and put full scale NASCARs on it at a 15 degree slope, just like a racetrack. This is a 64 foot long olive bar that we made. As far as I know, this is the longest custom made bar, you know, as far as olives go, that there is. He's a master at recycle. Nobody's better that I've ever seen. So we got a 1942 Seagraves fire truck. This was purchased uh, by the Navy in 1941, late 1941. This rascal is all set, period correct. It's got every nozzle, hose, boom, spotlight. Everything's just as it come in uh, 1942. So it come with this great paint job and Jungle thought this would be a real tribute to all the American soldiers that fought during the war. So that's what I do. Everybody says, what does Jungle Jim do? That's what I do. We take other people's leftover stuff and we change it and we create it and we use it. That's what we do.